How's it going, y'all? I'm back again. I'm pretty sure y'all remember the video I made earlier when I was um, at the park. I feel like there were some details that I missed or that I should have said, so let me hurry up and quickly say it before I get into what I want to talk about today. Uh, I did say earlier um, the possible reasons why I have not uploaded in like four, five plus years is because one, I was actually still in school. I was like either, I was either a late junior, early senior, which was about, which was about four plus years, five years ago. So obviously that, um, I was also busy around the house and I was dealing with my little brother. So those are the three main reasons why I have not uploaded in such a long time. And basically the, the, the very last video I made, it was like a good, I think it was like a good four or five months ago since I've came back on and told you guys the possible reasons why I haven't uploaded in such a long time, but those are the three main reasons why, or unless if I have more reasons, I don't know, I can't think of them right now, but those are the main reasons why I should have said that um, earlier, but they never came to mind, but um, <clears throat> yeah, but getting to what I want to talk to now is is actually video game related because this is actually something that I've literally been hearing a lot recently and it's basically about the many rumors and reports and speculation about the Grand Theft Auto trilogy getting remastered I'm pretty sure y'all know what the trilogy is GTA 3 Vice City and San Andreas which is what I'm playing right now so those three GTAs are rumored to get remastered, though, but no, but there are no concrete, but there's no concrete confirmation that this is happening. Like, Rockstar Games has to literally come out and literally say it themselves that these three GTAs are getting full blown remakes. But, um, it's just speculation, so. Take it how you want it, but um, but just imagine how beautiful those um these three GTAs would be <clears throat> if they was to get remastered. That would be absolutely beautiful, you know. Add new features, you know. They can fix certain bugs to the games and all that. I've also heard, uh, I've also heard that uh, a GTA three and Vice City reverse engineering type crap that I heard earlier um, I heard that was removed by Take-Two Interactive Software which is the parent company of Rockstar Games I heard that they took in down something related to that because I think it was like violating their well I don't I don't know how they would say it but I think it was violating something so they took it down and I think some lawyers had to get involved too and the whole thing had to be taken down. And, and I think with GTA 3 and Vice City specifically, I think the, the, the possible remakes that they possibly created but got taken down, it was basically with GTA 3, they would actually, you know, add the actual map to the pause menu. Because in GTA 3... When you when you pause the game, it doesn't show the map. It just it just it's it's literally just a black screen with the with the with the settings that you can go to, and some other technical improvements. Same thing with GTA Vice City, but the whole thing was shut down. I don't know why. I didn't I didn't bother looking at the full article, so I just heard it on a YouTube um, video. That's literally it. Like I said, I don't do that type of digging, but um. That's why I heard today, and it's literally going crazy. A lot of people are still talking about these GTAs. So, I don't know. We'll literally just have to wait and see if these are actually true. I'm hoping they are, because I would love 
to play GTA Vice City and San Andreas as remasters. I don't know about GTA 3 because I don't really like that game. The only reason why I don't really like that game because you can't fly any helicopters in it. And, you know, I don't know. I guess I got overall. I just really don't like the game overall. It's just GTA Vice City and San Andreas that I'm mainly looking forward to to have remasters. And that's really good. And I'm pretty sure y'all heard about GTA 5 getting remastered. They called it um, the expanded and enhanced version. That's how they're calling it. But I'm just going to call it GTA 5 Remastered. So that's pretty much it. It's going to have beautiful graphics. I think they said something about it having the Red Dead Redemption 2 Rage Engine type graphics. I think they said that that's what the GTA 5 remaster is going to have as far as graphic wise go. And to be honest, I would actually like to see how that would look like. Like what does RDR 2's Rage Engine really look like? Like how does it really look like? Does it look extremely realistic? Like I I actually really should look that up. Yeah, I should look that up and see how that really is. But um, but yeah, that's really amazing. They're saying exclusive new content, DLC content. And since it's coming on a much more powerful console and onto PC, just think about all of the massive DLCs that they can add to GTA V once it comes out as a remaster and once it comes out for the PS5 for the new Xboxes and for PC. Just imagine about all the DLCs they can come out with. Especially especially the supposed cop DLC that was supposed to come out this past summer but never did. But a lot of leftovers were, were left in the files. But nothing came about. So, so they can add that DLC back in and plus there's a lot of there's a lot of people that are expecting this remaster of GTA 5 to be on its peak because if it's just going to be it's basically it's basically the same game it's just remastered but it's just going to have brand new DLC content exclusive content to be exact and it's going to it's 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 literally going to have every damn thing in a remaster what do you expect in a remaster? Better graphics, more improvement, better gameplay. Um, they'll add, obviously, new content, obviously new weapons, vehicles, clothing, hairstyles, or whatever else is included in a remaster of the game. You tell me. But, that's what I literally do expect in that remaster but i'm pretty sure they can do way more so especially when it comes to dlcs i want them to do more map expansions that's what i want them to do because this recent dlc uh the kyle perico heist that dlc was complete trash it really was by um uh, the vehicles are not even that good, to be honest. I think the only ones that I like pretty much is the Pagasi Tordor, which is basically a four-door submersible car that has a nitro boost that you can use on land and in water, which is nice. Plus, it shoots missiles, machine guns, I think. And then underwater, it can shoot torpedoes. <laughs> Look at that. Like I said, I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about if you play GTA V. If you don't, then, oh well, then this ain't for you, but you can still listen. So, yeah, I really like that car. That's one of the vehicles I like from that update. Um, and I think the only other vehicle I like from it, from that update, is possibly the Annihilator Stealth. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all know the Annihilator from GTA 4. It's basically a Black Hawk. But um, it's basically an upgraded version of the Annihilator. It's basically a Black Hawk. You know, but it's called the Annihilator Stealth, which it can actually go into stealth mode. Just like the Akula 
which is which is another stealth helicopter that was added, I think, in the Doomsday update. And I believe that was probably my best DLC of GTA Online, to be honest. I think the Doomsday Heist update was actually my my personal favorite. Well, one of my personal favorites. Because I felt like that DLC was pretty huge. It was supposed to be a single-player DLC, but I don't know why they converted it to an online DLC. I don't need to know. But, um, I like that DLC. But the Kyle Perico heist is literally an embarrassment of an update. Obviously, for a lot of reasons. But I'm pretty sure other people can think of a lot of other reasons. I'm thinking about the main reason. The main reason is because of the island that they added into the game. It's obviously called Cayo Perico, which is obviously an island. It's basically a sunny paradise of an island that you go to to pull off a heist and to do setup missions there, obviously. And you can obviously do the heist with people or you can do it by yourself. So... And there's obviously primary and secondary targets you can take. You can take as much as you want. And then whether you're doing it solo or with other people, you can literally make the most amount of money from it. Like, I think that really might might be the best thing of that DLC is that you can do the high solo. You can collect as much as you want until you completely clear the entire compound out. And then you can escape however way you want. Because it does say at the end, after you breach the compound, you basically you basically are allowed to leave or escape the island anyway. You don't have to go to the exact location marked on your radar or on your map. You can escape the island any anyway or anywhere. So that way you actually don't get caught. Now, I'm pretty sure there are some tutorial videos on YouTube that y'all can look at about how to successfully pass that heist without getting spotted. So y'all can take a look on that only for those of y'all who play GTA 5 and GTA Online. I'm talking to y'all. If y'all don't play that game, then this ain't the video for you. Or if you don't play GTA in general, then this ain't for you. But if you still want to listen, you can listen. It's your choice. But um, yeah. There are videos like that on YouTube where you can literally look up how to successfully pass that heist without any failure. So look it up if you if you can, and hopefully you have good luck. Whether you want to do it with somebody or solo, it's up to you. But yeah, but like I said, overall, I still think the Kyle Perico heist DLC is really not too good of an update because it wasn't huge as people thought it would be. Obviously, especially with the island, like I kind of um, stopped on, the island is not um, accessible in free mode. Like I said, it was only it's only accessible through the setups and the heist. It's not in free roam where you can just either boat there or fly there and just freely explore you can't do that it's like as soon as you go to the island and as soon as you somehow make your way to the highest point of the island either on a really high hill and then you look out to sea you don't see nothing out there you don't see the main los santos map it's literally not there but you're still in the same session with everybody. And that's and that's basically connected only to the setup missions that you do there. You're basically in the same session, you're just not on the Los Santos map. The map, you can't really see it because it's just the island that's there. There's nothing else out at sea. And that's the thing. It's not like you can just simply do the setups at the island and then simply just fly back without any cutscenes. Because when it comes to the highest in the setups, it literally goes to a black screen and then boom, a cutscene. Just like that. It doesn't allow you to freely fly there and start the heist. So, 
I don't know. I think that was the only downfall of this of this um, of that update is that you just can't explore the um, the, the island freely in free mode. You, <clears throat> you just can't do it, and I don't know why. So, but um, yeah. So, like I said, what I do expect from from GTA Five Remastered is that. I want them to, to, to create as much DLCs as they can, especially massive ones, since the game is going to be remastered and being put on a much powerful console that can handle more space, more memory, all that. No matter how big the DLC is, it's like it's not going to do no harm to your console because it's that powerful in performance. So, so yeah. As many DLCs as they can, especially map expansions, they gotta do that and actually make the maps accessible in single player and in GTA Online. So that way we can just go there and just explore. That is it. It can't be entitled to just a mission or a heist. It, it makes no sense. It really makes the DLC a little dull because you can't go there and just explore it or find secrets or find rare vehicles or weapons or money rewards somehow but i hope they do that i hope i hope they don't forget to do that because a lot of people want a map expansion where you can just go and just explore not just do a mission so i hope the remastered version of the game does it I, um, um well well i just hope that they add dlc expansions like that basically slightly more map expansions and just DLC content that basically us the players want to see that's actually going to make more people get into the game maybe not the PS4 variant but the PS5 variant once it comes out they said the second half of 2021 which is this year but they wasn't specific on what specific month or day. But only Rockstar Games know. But um, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. I kind of wish I could have said this earlier while I was out. But it was actually really cold out there. I did say it was like in the high 30s, lower 40s. But that's still pretty frigid. So... But, um, yeah, that's all I got. That's really all I wanted to say. You know, I can't think of nothing else to say. So, until something else pops in my head, I'll it'll, I'll probably do it in a future video. But, um, yeah, thanks y'all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and share so you don't miss out on all that. Show, show your boy some love and all that. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.